It's 80 years this year since the Battle of Crete and the Battle for Greece. The Nazis invaded Greece and the Allies, including Australians and New Zealanders and British troops, were evacuated from Greece. Prior to that, the Greek army had fought a very successful battle against the Italian invasion and Hitler and the Nazis had followed after that. After the evacuation of Greece, the troops were sent to Crete and Hitler ordered and ran one of the most successful paratroop invasions, the first paratroop invasion uh, of its type in history. The Australians, the New Zealanders, the British fought very hard, but the soldiers and the people of Crete fought even harder. Again, the Nazis got the better and they forced an evacuation. The um, people in Crete continued to fight a very successful guerrilla operation, hurting the Nazis, slowing their war effort. And I think 80 years is a time to remember that effort of our soldiers, Australian soldiers, but also the people of Crete who fought so hard for freedom and for liberty. I think some lessons come out of the battle for Crete. Certainly the um, failure of intelligence and the failure of the key general uh, on the British side is a one, one aspect of it. Uh, but equally, I think the message is about the heroism and the strength of the guerrilla resistance and the fighting spirit of the Australians, New Zealanders and British. I think it's appropriate after 80 years to remember this. And I think those who say Anzac Day has lost its importance don't include me. I think we've got to remember those who've sacrificed themselves, who've paid the ultimate price. Um, Anzac Day in Australia is the appropriate time.